Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to start making a movie in Picasa. This is uh, version 3.8. So to get started you simply need to select some pictures. So I'm just dragging over some pictures of some snowdrops that I took. Uh, you'll notice that they appear down in the tray. You can either select multiple pictures by dragging over them or simply click on the folder itself if you want all of the pictures from that folder. Um, it's fairly straightforward to start. Once your pictures are selected and you see them down here in the tray, click on the movie button. Or if you like using your menu bar, you can go create movie uh, from, from the selection which is in your in the tray. I'm just going to click here at the bottom on movie. You'll see the movie will will start uh, as, as soon as you click on the little green play button. Now for some reason mine has decided to play right at the third slide but um, the default should be right from the first. It even puts in the name of your folder and the date that you took the pictures. Um, you can at any time pause the movie and drag the little timeline marker to the next position. You'll see as I drag it, it is actually changing uh, the, the storyline down here at the bottom. You're able to drag and sort pictures in the storyline if you want to change their order. So if I wanted this buttercup up here, uh, I could drag it to the front. When you uh, first enter the movie maker you'll see you now have a new tab uh, called movie maker at the top and within the movie maker tab you have three separate tabs one movie uh, one called slide another called clips uh, in the first one called movie is where you can uh, add uh, a song to your movie you simply click load and then you will have to go find the location of uh, the music on your computer and and choose one. Um, Picasa only supports uh, so far a WMA and MP3 audio files. Um, you can choose from a variety of transition styles, so how each picture in your uh, show will will uh, change from one to the next, uh, the length of time that each picture is viewed and how much overlap there is between uh, each picture as they change. Uh, the dimensions here are talking about pixel size basically. Uh, the larger the pixel size, the, the larger the, f the file size, the finished product will be uh, with 720p and 1080p being high definition formats. Um, it's up to you how large you want to create your, your movie. I recommend going bigger if you have the room on your computer. Um, when you're done in the movie tab, you can click on the slide tab. You can even you can type text on any of the slides that you're uh, working on. Uh, and for example, if I type snowdrop uh, with buttercups in the background. You'll see it appear in large text right across your slide. You can change the font size to any size you like. Uh, you can change just about anything. You change your text color by actually using the, the dipper tool. Or I believe if you hold it down and drag onto your picture, you can steal colors from the picture itself. So I could steal this yellow from the, from the, from the buttercup. Um, if you need to add more clips, if you forgot some, you could go to the Clips tab and, and go get more from your library. Or you could even remove uh, clips if you, if you need to from here. Uh, we'll continue on in, in a moment with part two.